Right, quick video. This is the Project Ranger of Sport. We have fixed most of the faults. What have we done, Dan? We've we fixed the stereo. Actually, the whole nav unit was missing. So we bought a second-hand nav unit. Then it wasn't working, and we did the most bus fault diagnosis, and we worked out there was a power failure in the rear DAB radio module. Um, we've replaced the airbags here. We've replaced the seatbelt pre-tensioners. We've still got a fault with the EDIF, but we're going to use the purpose of this video, the reason for this video even, is to just, we're going to put the IID tool in. We're a great fan of the IID tool. Um, they, uh, so we're going to plug it in and read the fault codes. Now, originally when we got the car, we did a fault code reading and it was quite a lot. And we'll see what we've got the faults down to now. So it plugs in, it connects to your phone with Bluetooth. You plug it into your ODB2 port, which you're never going to see under here on my video. But I'll get it in and it should all start lighting up. Unfortunately, the lights are on the wrong side, but you can see it flashing away there. We need the ignition on and then I'll grab my phone. Right then, well, let's have a look. Oh, we're all cosy in here, aren't we, Dan? Right then, let's have a look. Stuff, does that look like gap diagnostics? Here we go. There's my... So you've got a little app on your phone. Right, and there you go, and then it asks you which tool you want to. You got that nice and steady there, Dan? Yeah. You're looking all right. So go to our last tool, and it's trying to connect, and it's uploading all its data. And what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at the faults. So let's, and it says the fault codes are going to be red. Continue. Now, I'm not sure how many, I think it found about 34 ECUs when we did it last, mm -hmm. didn't it? Now, I think, I'm trying to think what, so we know we've got an EDIF rear um, fault, and your passenger seat is not happy with that. And I don't know no. what you've done to it, but nothing. nothing. Right, so let's have a look at the fault. Now, one thing is we could look at all these. So let's have a look what the body control, so you can click into these. Now, just to say, with an IID tool, it's it can actually read faults on any of the applicable Land Rover, Range Rover, so that's Discovery 3, Range Rover Sport, L322 models, etc. But it can, it's linked to one vehicle typically. And on the vehicle it's linked to, it can change the height and modify the CCF. But you can actually use your tool that's linked to your Disco 3 to read your mate's Range Rover Sport. Um, so that's quite cool, right. So let's have a look. So it's got some, algorithm based so some signal compare failure got no idea what that's about um don't know how serious that is let's just go back um we got a chassis controller's got two faults some high speed cam bus um invalid serial data is received uh, this one here is rate of change of signal is above the threshold so something's we got some sensor problem somewhere but i'm not quite sure where Sorry, let me get in the way of the camera. Going back. The gear shift. What's that with the gear? Invalid data system in the body control module. So it looks like, interesting, there might be something, that other thing might be related to the gear shift. Uh, parking aid. Now, I know what the problem here is. One of the, the, um, one of the rear sensors, they've actually put the wrong rear bumper on the car and it hasn't got the sideways sensors. So I know what that is. The passenger seat um, is... It's not happy with something there. Um, calibration, but apparently that's quite common, that one. I'm not too worried about that. The memory works, didn't we? We tried the memory, yeah. Dan, at all. And then the running board. Now, I think it had running boards before the crash, and it it's now can't see the running board. So I might have to use the CCF file on here and see if I can remove running boards as an option. So there we go. But once you've read the faults, it's, it's good practice to clear them all. And then let it reread the faults. So, hold on, there we go. It's rescanning them all. And see which ones come back. Because some will some will be intermittent and some you'll just get thrown up randomly. Um, so it's good practice once you've had a look at them. So we've got body control, passenger seat, rear differential. Did, did that rear diff come up in that last? So we know the rear diff's not work E diff. We're not too worried about that. The passenger seat. Oops, sorry. Um, so the only one is the body control module is that algorithm-based failure we need to look at. So we've got 
We've got to a degree where I'm pretty sure the car is safe to drive. We've got more investigation to do. But that's just a quick video using the IID tool there to read your faults.